Hello, my name is Steven Ballast, and in this video I'm going to show you how I'm using a Blackmagic ATEM switcher integrated with a Casper CG video server and a program called Just Macros to create a really powerful video playback solution here at our church. This combination is a great way to get really high quality HD video playback in a way that is cheap and fairly easy to implement. At a high level, here's how this works. The Just Macros program runs some scripts that can talk to and control the ATEM switcher, and also controls the Casper video server. I've also got an XKeys device attached to the Just Macros computer that lets me do all of this at the push of an actual physical button. In our environment, I have three distinct destinations for video from the switcher, all of which may be receiving something different at any given moment. The ME2 output from the switcher goes to our internet stream, overflow areas, and recording. ME1's output goes to side screens that we use for iMag and only gets close-up shots. Then an aux output feeds our main projection screens, which is usually being sent a feed from our worship software program with lyrics or some sort of graphic. So when I playback video, I need to route the playback server to all my outputs at the same time when playback begins. With just macros, I can do all that at the push of one button. I think you can begin to see the power of this system and what it can do. So let's get into some of the details. First, let's talk about Just Macros. It's the glue that holds this whole thing together. The basic version is free and can do everything I'm describing here, but if you need more functionality and the ability to talk to more devices, there is a paid version. Just Macros lets you create scripts that control your ATEM switcher. So for example, a script could be programmed to make Camera 4 Live or put a camera on the preview bus. Basically, anything you can do through the ATEM software interface, you can script through Just Macros. I've also got an XKeys XK16 stick, which gives me 16 buttons to assign scripts and macros. The XKeys devices integrate really easily with Just Macros and creates a simple hardware interface to your ATEM switcher. So, just to show you how I have it set up here in my environment, the first eight buttons put those cameras on the preview bus and then there's a take and auto transition button. I think just that in itself is worth the cost of the XKeys device and setting this up with your ATEM switcher. All you need to do is install the Just Macros program on a computer that has network access to your switcher and you're ready to start controlling your ATEM switcher with real physical buttons. Just Macros also comes with a bunch of macros pre-programmed to control your ATEM switcher. So if that's all you're doing, you probably won't even need to write any scripts yourself. Now, where this gets really powerful is when you integrate Just Macros and your ATEM switcher with the Casper CG video server. Casper is an open source program written by the Swedish Broadcasting Corporation, and it can do a whole lot more than what I'm using it for. So it's worth checking out on their website to see all the things that it can do. But for me, it works as a reliable video playback server, and when combined with a cheap Blackmagic mini monitor output card in your computer, you can get great high quality SDI video direct into your switcher. I have it installed on a decently specced PC, and audio goes out to our house and production mixer through a Lexicon Alpha USB audio device. When you download Casper from their website, there is a server and a client, you just need the server for this setup to work. Just unzip the download to a folder on your PC, and then create a shortcut on your desktop to the caspercg underscore server.exe file, which is located in the server folder. You will also notice the folder called media in the server folder. This is where you put your video files for playback. So I also created a shortcut to this folder on my desktop so I can access it easily. In my setup, I have a fast SSD hard drive installed on my Casper computer, so I've moved my media folder to that drive. You can change the location of your media folder on the Paths page of the server. Once you've opened the Casper server program, configure your setup on the channel page and it's ready to start playing back video. I've created several scripts that you can use as a starting point and they're available on my website for download. These scripts will play back video from a playlist that you create on the Just Macros computer. Each time you hit the play button, it plays the next video in the list. For these scripts to work, you do need to do a little bit of simple configuration on the computer that's running Just Macros. First, create a folder on your C drive called JM folder, and then create two text files in it. The first needs to be named casperplaylist.txt, and the second index.txt. Casperplaylist.txt is your playlist. This is where you enter the file names of the videos that you've put in your media folder on the Casper server. You can put the number one in the index file, 
but if you run the initialize playlist index script, it will do that for you. Let's quickly look at the playlist playback script so that you'll know what to edit in your environment. The top section here is where we define a few variables. It's also where you can set which input to switch to all your outputs. In my case, my video server is connected to input 16 on my switcher, so I've set all my destinations to 17 because in the code, the input numbering starts with black as one, and then input one of the switcher is two and so forth. If you're using the one ME switcher, just delete the line with the ME2 in it, and you can also add or delete any auxes that you want to use. If for some reason you don't want to create a folder called JM folder and put it on your C drive, you can change the path to your playlist files and index here. The next section is all about opening the files and reading the index and the file name for the video to play back. You shouldn't need to edit any of that. Finally, down at the bottom of the script is where we set up the switcher for video playback. If you only have a 1ME switcher again, delete the lines about ME2. Add, remove, or change the lines about aux 6, depending on what you want to do with your aux outputs. Just change the second parameter in this line where I have a 6 to the number of the aux you want to route an input to. And then finally, these last lines load the video in Casper and begin playback. You shouldn't need to edit these lines either. The easiest way for you to get these scripts into Just Macros would be to create a new script in Just Macros and then copy and paste the content you downloaded from my website into the script. Once you've modified them for your specific I.O. needs, all you need to do is assign the scripts to your X keys buttons and you're ready to begin playing back video. It's also important to note that within Just Macros, if you open a script and press the execute button, it will run that script. So you really can get this functionality without any X keys devices. So once this is all set up, a simple press of the button and video playback begins on all my screens. I've also programmed a stop script, which stops playback and returns all the outputs to a predetermined input and the initialized playlist index script, which will reset the playlist back to the first video in the list. I hope this was helpful and you can see how you can use your ATEM switcher, Casper, Just Macros, and XKeys to make a powerful solution for high quality video playback during your events at a really economical price.